Hello everyone and welcome back to Two Ships Tarot. And this will be your general weekly reading for the sign of Aries for the week of June 20th to the 26th. And I hope everyone had a wonderful week. And I'd also like to thank everyone who has given my channel a thumbs up, subscribed, and left a comment. Thank you very much. It is greatly appreciated. It lets me know that people are listening. Thank you for that. All right, Aries, let's see what's in store for you this week. And the first card out is the devil. <laughs> so maybe you need to um, tend to the fire in your belly a little bit here. Wondering if you can uh, survive without being tethered to this. You know, maybe you need to put up some boundaries for some people. And the Four of Rods. So good foundation, sound foundation. Everything sprouting to life. Whoops, sorry about that. Bumped it with my knee. Yeah, looks like you're uh, starting to succeed at whatever it is that you're doing. You're getting a little more clarity and on what uh, you're looking for in the future. And the Queen of Swords. So your sword signs are air signs, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. So, yeah, I did say queen, yes I did. <laughs> so she's very skilled, verbally skilled, uh, very um, passionate, clear cut, decisive. Now this could be uh, somebody you know or a good friend, relative. And the sun. Wow. So everything's going your way. You've got optimism back in your life. You're feeling uh, more rejoiced this year. You're feeling more uh, celebration, celebrating wise, you know, victory. Uh, you have you have your health and uh, things are looking your way. You're you're quite happy with the outcome to your life here. So that's a wonderful card. And then of course, the Five of Swords. So you've had to put some people in their place, figure out what it is that you want in your life for your own growth and that, you know. Don't err. Um, don't tell people what you don't want them to repeat to others. You know. Don't shortchange yourself. And the hermit. So making some sort of decision, feeling a little bit that you need to step back, get away from people, just relax, take a time out for yourself. It's probably well earned. Sometimes it's just nice to look out and see uh, where you're going, what you're thinking of doing in your life. You know, be true to yourself. And the Ace of Swords. So, you know, preparing for uh, inspired in, in, oh, good grief, I can't talk. Forgive me. You're feeling inspired. How's that? And you can cut through any of your own negative thoughts or anybody else's coming in towards you with some sort of clarity on which, what you want to do for yourself. And the magician. So whatever it is that you're deciding to do, uh, it's going to turn out in your favor, though it may feel difficult at the time. Um, you can face anything and create whatever it is that you desire. You just hold it in your hold it in your vision and stay 
determined and you'll move forward in the path that you're choosing. And the Queen of Cups. So water signs. Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Usually this is a friendship, relationship, or romance, romantic. But, uh, yeah. You're making things grow here. You know, somebody who's wise. Some, you know, good friend. And the Page of Cups. So good news coming in. It's usually about, um, he usually brings news of romance of some sort. You know, um, an invitation, a reconciliation. You know, maybe a, a friendship that you've had for quite a while is um, getting a little more serious in your life. And the Page of Pentacles. So you've got quite a bit of uh, beginnings here for sure. Especially with the Page. Now these could just be younger people. Maybe these are your children or grandchildren or just people you know in general. You know, there's some sort of opportunity coming in for yourself. Now whether you've made this opportunity available to yourself or somebody's making it for you. You know, making an offer. All right, and the Four of Pentacles. So hanging on to um, your material gains in life, of what you've worked so hard to accomplish. And it, uh, at this point, you're a little bit nervous about taking a step forward. You know, will I make it? Do I take this chance? You know, is the grass greener on the other side? If I let go of what is secure, Will I still make it? Because once the once the ties are cut, they're cut. Very rare they go backwards. And the moon. So definitely things are shifting. You know, uh, the landscape is shifting suddenly on you. Rules are changing. You know, are you getting enough sleep? You know, make sure you take enough time out for yourself for rest and and. Uh, good health for yourself maybe it's time um, do some physical take a walk in the nice sunshine if if you have nice weather where you are sometimes just all that helps you know sharpen the mind and and uh, give you a different outlook as well as help your health and the knight of wands so something some sort of proposal coming in. Maybe you have a, maybe you're thinking of taking a vacation somewhere or somebody's making you an offer to take one with them. Now, you know, that could be uh, just a drive to go shopping somewhere different that you haven't been or haven't been for quite a while. You know, it's, it's always good news coming in. And the hair font, so that's a interesting one to get along that line. You know, and this is usually a, somebody that you respect that has a lot of knowledge, or somebody that you know. Now this could be a relative as well, or an aunt or an uncle, or somebody that you look up to and and uh, respect their opinions on things. So you know, mentor, therapist. Uh, somebody that you really trust maybe you're bouncing some sort of ideas off of them of what you're thinking of doing and you trust their opinion because you like what they have in their life and and uh, it's just a good mix and the two of cups now this could be a new interest coming into your life like your life or this could be um a spark back in a relationship that you had previous or have now you know just that little oof back that you figure was lost and, and uh, sometimes when we become too familiar with our partners they become boring 
as we do to them as well. So sometimes just the unexpected spark of doing something different, going somewhere different, makes a difference. But this could also be a friendship um, turning into more than a friendship. Somebody making you an offer or you making an offer to somebody else to maybe um, take it a little bit further. Maybe move in together if you've already been seeing somebody. I mean, it's, it's going to turn out well. It's quite a decision. You may be even actually thinking about moving somewhere different. And uh, hence why the breaking of the ties and wondering if, you know, are you going to be all right with that? But I think overall, Aries, you're very well prepared more than you realize for um, change in your life and being able to make your life stable. All right, I am going to shuffle and pick you an Angel Oracle card. And see what kind of clarity we can get on this week's reading for you. But it looks very well. You're going to be quite happy with your choices. I mean, you're going to, like I said, talk it over with a friend or somebody that you respect that has a very clear opinion of, not judgmental, but just a good overall view of things. Which will clarify a lot for you. Peace of mind. You have a special bond with animals. Your pets on earth and in heaven are watching over by angels, or watched over by angels. Quite a beautiful card. So, you know, maybe you've lost a little love fur baby in your family recently and they're watching over you and they're being very protected and if you can hear mine has entered the room she likes to be known all right Aries I want to thank you and for now and I will talk to you again next week till then stay safe stay healthy and bye for now